So you see the comment, enter user information, mm -hmm. uh, transition, sort by price. Like these are all good comments. But if a test fails or you watch a video, you have no idea what this is what yeah. you're supposed to be doing. So just put them in scilog command and make it bold with using markdown. Yep. And then if you have a screenshot, you clearly see transition. And one step better. So I have a plugin called Cypress Log Tutorial, which just mm -hmm. literally overrides scilog command. So all these commands, you see the screenshot, transition to the inventory, enter user information, they automatically get forwarded to your terminal output. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can see where the test is, you know, do like what is it doing right now, where it failed, like, like roughly. And when you look at screenshots, like, okay, this is where like it failed. And I actually improved this thing because the Cypress log to term can give you the current subject, right? So mm -hmm. all sorts of crazy things that you can do to actually output things like prices low to high, you know, easily from the page uh, to your terminal, right? And, you know, imagine you generate some kind of JSON, like you could actually like parse this, anyway, um, generate like a breadcrumbs mm -hmm. of your test. And the second tip for making your tests better is to use SizePack. So um, I used to work with Thurston at Cypress. He is a superstar. He wrote Spock, mm -hmm. which is a search library for Chai. And I wrote SizePack that wraps around it and just adds nothing pretty much, right? It's all him. So basically, the problem that I see in a lot of tests, the, people have to use a lot of expectations or a lot of shoots. Mm -hmm. just to check like this property, that property. Don't even get me started on like nested objects because you can't really. Yeah, yeah. And so what do we do, right? We bring plugin size pack and you import this little function. So all, you don't have to replace anything, right? You can just wrap your expected value with Spock. And then you can have this one giant object Okay, so it's inside should, and then you can confirm deeply nested object in a single shot. And it also okay. does like partial comparison, so you don't need to have like the exact thing, but right. just list out the things you want to test. Yes. Yeah. So it's the, like deep include, not deep equals. You yeah. only list properties you want to check. And the coolest thing, this is how it looks in your command log, right? Yeah, it actually tells you the path to each property and if it like passed or not. Like, and if if one property passed, I mean, or like all properties are matching or passing, and one is wrong, it will tell you everything that's passing in green and in red only that one. So you you know the full picture, like if it failed everything or just one, and you can use your own predicates, right? And yep. there are built-in predicates. Like, I don't know the value, but I know it's a number. Perfect. I don't know the status code. I just know it has to be like one of those 200. Yeah. Right? Regular expressions, one of like types, you name it. And it's all very beautiful command log just. So yeah, we're talking much about, better experience. We're talking about CY Spock and Murat has entered the chat. So uh, I think if you say CY Spock, he, he appears. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Murat. Yeah. 